it takes a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And I understand what he says about the grant. And if you want to know somebody that knows history, Mr. Wood knows history. I'm part of the Gosha Hoffman historians. And if you want to know history, listen to him. He's an amazing person. And it doesn't have any value to him. It has value to the people that went there. But maybe they should have a fund for the people that went there to give to that then. And then we have these grants. And it goes to the people that went there that have, have a heart for it. Not those. It doesn't have any value to me. But at the same point, if I went there, I certainly would, or if my family did. My, fa my family did. I yes. just, I'm looking at it more as something that is, it's the township. Yeah. Well, I think of that with Perky Emmett Inn. I love going there when it's the old mill place. That's something that would, you know, is also part of our township. Mm -hmm. So I just think if we're going to do it, it should be the people that want it, and they put their money into it, and with grants or whatever. Else? <clears throat> There's been a lot of talk in past meetings about mm -hmm. preserving the rural and open space in our township mm -hmm. and the fabric of the way the township is. I mean, this is part of the township for how long? Mm -hmm. And it, whether it's in the historical register or not, it's the history of the township. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, George Jones. The only question I have is that, first of all, <coughs> no one's really established what the building's going to be used for. What 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 is the proposed use of the building going forward? <laughs> Number one, because that would dictate pretty much the plan that you would have for either a renovation or whatever you may decide to do. But I think you need to take it step by step and explore all avenues. I, I'm, I'm not saying that I would want an, uh, an older historic value building taken down or even a new one put up. I'm, I'm open-minded. What I would like to see done is that we explore all the avenues sure. and then we make a good calculated decision on what, what the best step forward would be. And that's where I stand on I, I'm just in an open-minded state where I, I just want to take a look at everything. But I am in agreement, I said it at the last meeting or one of the last couple of meetings that I, I was in favor of at least using 100,000, like this gentleman, Mr. Hansen, was talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing there you'd have to watch is to see how the grant is worded. And that's my concern. But I said there's, there's no sense in leaving that $100,000 on the table that, that uh, you know, if, if at all possible, you know, while we're investigating uh, all the different uh, things that could be done, we would at least put the 100000 to use. Right. As long as there wasn't some mechanism that was in place that would back us into a corner. Right. That's what I would fear. So when I read the grant today, that's yeah. what it said. It basically says it was a historical grant yeah. uh, and that the funds would have to be used for whatever the the description was that was mailed in. And I didn't get a description of what was mailed in. All I got was we were approved for 100,000. Do we have uh, the grant description that was mailed in? Yeah, Again, we'll have to ask Mrs. Mrs. Yeah. Tackett. Again, I'm so, not against so I think there's it. There's a couple of plen preliminary steps. Number sure. one, the use of the building mm -hmm. ongoing for generations, really. And, and then also uh, different possibilities. You know, what are the possibilities of renovating and getting this building up up the park? That's and that's not unreasonable. And I, I think that as good stewards of the uh, community's money, uh, we need to investigate ev everything that's out there. Sure. And, and then make a good uh, decision on of what the best move forward would be. So that's the problem with moving forward with the grant tonight that I see. Yeah. It'd be hard for me to say, let's utilize the 100,000, Dave, and say, let's just do it. And I'm, thing, say, Mr. Mr. Hanson, I'm not arguing it's not a great investment. But everybody keeps saying it's not on the historical landmark. Is that because no one ever approached to have it put on? Uh, so no, I, I talked to a lady. I mean, it, you know, there's a lot of questions that you need to work on. I'm not saying do yeah. anything tonight. But is it not on the historical registry because nobody ever applied? Uh, 
You know, there's, a, there's a million things you got to look into. That's right. all I'm saying. Right, but that's what I'm saying about the grant. I can't just throw this <coughs> grant at it and then go, okay, everything's going to be hunky dory. I might be locked into it for historical restoration, and that's where I'm looking at the 525. When you're looking at these Victorian style windows and things like, I, d I don't know, Mr. Hanson, Mr. Murray, I don't know. What I will give you my word is, I'm going to look into it. I just can't say, let's use these funds today <coughs> without knowing all of the information then, I need. Then you should have said tear it down until you know the information. It was an option, Mr. Hanson. That's what was discussed in the last meeting, an okay. option. Yeah. So I was just going to mention, a lot of those grants require township match funds, too. So it's not just free money. Still so what I've read it, it did say, you know, they'll, they'll give us the hunter and then we give them yeah, back the hunter. Or we use it, they give it. Uh, and I think Ms. Tackett clarified that. But yeah. we just don't know what the wording of the grant right. is. Sean, do you know what it is? Actually, your name was on it when I read yeah, it. Yeah, I don't remember what the wording is. That's, look, I mean, yeah. the reality is, <laughs> is we got to get through. Um, the points are Tracy, look for the guide. Okay, we can, I think, a lot of these details, she's very close to this. We'll get through all, the, through all of that with her at the next meeting. Okay, so we're going to have to table this decision for the next meeting. But she needs, she needs the guide. She's looking for guidance. The guidance, if you open up to the back of uh, the sheet. I, I did. I, I read it. I understand what she's looking for. But I, I can't go ahead and, you know, I'm all for moving forward, but I got to know what I'm moving forward with. I got this grant's going to dictate. <laughs> what we're doing. I don't want to drag the meeting out, but being open and public, can we hear what Tracy said? What her notes are? Yeah, so she's she's looking for guidance for next steps. And it reads as follows. Questions have been raised regarding whether this was a good investment. Given the points made at the beginning of this memo, in my experience working for the township as planner for several years, I do believe this was a good community investment. While the brick and stone do need some re re <coughs> me, repointing, they are in pretty decent condition given the age of the building. While it was recognized that the restoration of the building would be <coughs> on the more costly side, and that was why we applied for the grant to help offset the additional costs. I believe this building could be a beautiful entry building for the township property and be one that the residents can be proud of. At this time, I would like guidance on from the board on the following. And there's also, there's other stuff in here about details about the grant funding. Let me take a step back here. It says, <coughs> LSA grant funding. The copy of the grant has been provided we have until 2026 to use the money, and it does not appear to require a match. Although, as part of the application, we estimated the overall project would be approximately $200,000, and we did represent that the other half would be paid for by the township. A more recent worst-case scenario shows a possible cost of approximately $500,000. I do not believe that the actual cost will reach this, but it was requested for a worst case scenario. So she is looking for guidance from the board on the following. Does the board intend to sell the property? That's item one. <coughs> item two, a survey of the township properties was done last fall. We have si five separate parcels that we had planned to consolidate into one parcel. Should I move forward with the consolidation of the lots, and if so, should it include the schoolhouse property? Item three, would the board like to move forward with the exterior work on the schoolhouse along with the inside demolition? So, based on, I guess, some of the dialogue that we had here, and, and correct me if we want to change our minds, the answer to one, do we want to sell the property, yes, is no. no. Correct. Item two, do we want to consolidate the parcels? I would say yes, Absolutely. because we're not selling the school. Yes. Item three is, do we want to, the board to move forward with the exterior work on the schoolhouse along with the inside demolition? At this time, I would say no, right, based on this conversation. Yes. Right. So we can give her that guidance. Do we need a motion for this, or we just tell her? We just tell her that. OK. All right. One, one thing, if I could, the second question regarding consolidation of the township Love. parcels. Yep. 
that is a, a, a in my opinion a good thing to move forward for the township really independent of the school correct because if you decide to do anything with your uh, uh, the uh, the uh, the 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 grant? No, the uh, the, town, the municipal uh, services. You're, you're, mm -hmm. If you want to expand that, you have internal property lines. When you Correct. go to try to do something like that, you literally could have a setback issue even being in the middle of all that. So basically all that's going to do is extinguish those internal property lines no matter what you do. Okay, I think the component of that that maybe Tracy was getting at was if for some reason the supervisors decided they wanted to sell the schoolhouse property, you would not want to include that sure. and consolidate those. But if you clearly don't want to get rid of the property, then I think moving forward with uh, consolidating the parcels would be an overall benefit to the township. And it is going to take yeah. a little bit of time because you have to literally have zoning relief that you need to do. There's some, some issues with internal existing easements. There's a lot of, when you consolidate five parcels, there's some, some things that you have to work through. It will take some time to do that. Sure. Okay. I just wanted to offer the rest of it because it really, in my opinion, was only tied to the school property if you wanted to sell it. Right. I completely agree. So, just two cents. Okay. <clears throat> Any public comment, Dave? No. That's fine, Sean. Thank you for reading that. Okay. Whole business scheduling solicitor interviews. Uh, Schoolhouse uh, 855 Perky Omaville Road update regarding possible greenway easement and request from Montgomery County can, to contribute $84,576 toward farm preservation of 855 Perky Omaville Road. Uh, Ms. Tackett says she's playing phone tag with the owner right now in an effort to set up a site visit. Uh, the, the board can take action on the request from the county to contribute 15% toward the cost of the preservation or hold off until next month when we've had a chance to meet with the owner. I'm of the militia to wait until we meet with this owner myself. Mr. Frisco? Yeah, we should wait. Ms. Ms. Uh, Ms. Lisa? Yeah, I agree with waiting until we get feedback. Okay. So we're, we're going to wait, Miss Kate, until we all hear back. Obviously, you heard, but I <coughs> Again, any public comment? The, the board proposed uh, they were going to try to buy a little bit of the land from this, uh, this gentleman yes. that is going to get the, uh, yes. the uh, preservation. Uh, how, how much land were you thinking of buying as the township? You know, along the creek, I think it was. I think in total, it, access. she estimated to be about an acre or, or right around an acre of ground. It's just basically for the trail system. Right. Uh, that, that navigates. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And, and, and I know the way you phrase it, and I know what you meant, but I don't think the township would actually be buying land. I think what they would do is secure an easement. easement. The okay. underlying the land would stay yeah. with the property owner, but the township, and I believe, if I'm, memory's not greatest, but I believe it was like a 50 foot strip for future possible extension of the trail if that ever made sense to connect to something else. Mm -hmm. So, I, I believe that's okay. exactly what you said. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Um, my name's Buck Daniel Reed. I live at 941 Perky and Middle Road. Um, I know the issue that's going on now. What what they're doing is they're selling the property, the development rights to the property. My grandparents had a lens mine of 78 acres and we did that in 2015. So nobody's giving them money without selling. So they're selling the property rights, the development rights to the property. So the township wants to get this easement and they're proposing like $7,000 an acre, and that's what they figured it out. It's like 25 feet wide, going from Heimbach Road to Perky and Middle Road. Um, but I do have to question when, when there's all this talk of safety, um, wanting to, you know, shooters here in the township building here, you know, things like that, you know, looking ahead, things like that. <coughs> Where is, I have to question why we would be in the comprehensive plan talking about running a trail system from the Schuylkill River Trail to Green Lake Park. Um, 
all the way through there, from Pottstown all the way through, so Philadelphia, Red, and connects through here. Um, CO to Creek Trail. You know, uh, what we're doing is not only is there plans to do this, but it's being actively worked on right now as we speak. And why would we be acting on this and giving away, giving access to the internal portions of the township, you know, to, the, to our backyards, right, in our backyards. Um, why would we be doing that and then at the same time talking about safety here? We have an open border town south where people are just funneling in. We don't even know who they are. Um, and on top of that, it, you know, when I first saw these trails being um, talked about, you know, in the comprehensive plan back in 2008 when I first saw them, I thought it was kind of cool, I thought it was kind of interesting. But, you know, a lot's changed in the world. You know, it's obviously a different world now than it was in 2020, 2019, so on and so forth, especially 2008. Why would we be giving access to the innermost portions of the township? I have to question that, you know, and talking about safety at the same time. We're also, in doing so, um, we are, uh, we're inviting developments in. You know, we're building an infrastructure you know, development to development. Why would we do we be doing that? So I just want to bring that up. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I, I think we're just laying the groundwork if we want to. We're not actually putting the trails in now. We, well, but, but we're, we're acquiring, acquiring it. it. We're acquiring it. We are acquiring it. But, but that's that's planned. So everything in. starts with a plan, and then it starts with action. We're acting on it right yeah, now. We're on step number one. Yeah, so then where does it go? Step number right. 10. And, um, unless we decide step number two isn't in the, in, isn't in the township's I, well, interest. Do you want people, stop. would you be willing to, um, if you had property, allow the trail to go through your backyard? <laughs> and connect from Pottstown right that, through it? That, no, no, that, answer that, the question since you're directly questioning me. No, Please we, answer the question. Well, would you're you barking be, up the wrong tree on this. No, I'm not barking up the wrong tree, Kevin. Trust me. I can be bullish too. They have you want to explain where you guys live? Yeah. Where I live? Not where no, live. where I live. My property line is Bob Wayne Park. Okay. But do, do you have a trail going through there? Do you want a trail yeah, going through your property? Yeah, there's a trail right along the property. Right, does it connect from Philadelphia to your house? Uh, well, now well, we're getting into be. that. Are we? Well, don't you have to plan? Huh? I don't, I don't own that land. We're not saying that when they acquire this land, they're putting a trail in and bringing in a busload of people from south, the southern border of Texas, like you're bringing. What I'm saying, what I'm talking about is the trail system that they're planning to do is giving access to the inner portions of the township, where right now we don't have to worry about that. If you own there and it's already there, that's fine. But that Bob Whalen Trail and the trails you're talking about mm -hmm. does not connect to the Schuylkill River Trail where the homeless people can come up and walk through here. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't grant, you know, if we're going to talk about danger and having a panic room in here because of a shooter, why do you want to have a trail that runs through our property that connects all over the place where, where people can walk then in and you case should, your house out? Then you yeah. should get on the regional plan. It's, it's irrelevant. We're here in Upper Frederick. Yeah. We can, we can talk about this. Tomorrow. I'm just raising it up, and I have three people after me, and, and I've already I'm seen all of you, dude. I'm just uh, saying. Dude. Hey. Topic's over. We'll talk later. All right. So that was the update on 855 Kirk Jellenville Road. All right. Upcoming okay, meetings. We got the park board meeting uh, February 27, 2024, at 7 p.m. We got a planning commission meeting February 29th. Uh, at 7 p.m. Uh, announce, announcements, we have the suggestion box for, for community day and other community events. Um, and ready Monco, sign up to receive emergency uh, alerts. Uh, that's an important thing here. Uh, and don't forget about the flat Easter flyer sale for the fire department. Use all the donations that you get. Make a motion to adjourn this fine meeting. All those in favor? All right, thank you. All in favor? All in favor?
Which is what? Me not freaking out. Yeah, I was trying to tell you. I'm going to have to sit next to you at all these meetings. I'm going to have to sit next to you every meeting. So I can tell you. Mark, 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 Is it you feed that I have a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and I can sit down and turn this camera on myself. Mm -hmm. and I've been watching that like my passion. I would see a pepper in the corner of the to own that property. Now, the people that are in it, I don't think own it. I think it's rented out or whatever. Oh, no, 